morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, behind me is a cornfield just planted in north central Illinois. Yesterday, the USDA said that about 72% of the U.S. corn crop was planted. That was above the average trade guess, but still below last year's 89 and the average of 79. Um, I think that the uh, fact that the crop got was better planted than the trade guess offered a little bit of weakness to the corn futures. Got Illinois at 78, Iowa 86, North Dakota's only 20, and emergence is 39% versus 61% last year. The lateness of the crop could limit the amount of corn that's available uh, for the uh, what is sometimes considered new crop September contract. Um, as far as beans, 50% of the crop is planted. Uh, 73 was last year. 62 Illinois, 69 uh, Iowa, 32 Minnesota, Arkansas 71, while North Dakota is only 7% uh, planted. So that North Dakota crop also is only uh, 27 planted in spring wheat, and that's the area where the acres are falling uh, the most behind. As far as weather is concerned, um, <clears throat> still wet conditions uh, for the Midwest this week, Northern Plains and, and Eastern Canada. Um, I think the <clears throat> long-term forecast continues to be wet uh, in that Northern Plains, Canada area. The rains in the Midwest is going to help soil moisture, uh, might delay some of the final plantings. Uh, when we look at the, the rest of May, we'll probably see somewhat of a similar pattern that we have right now. Uh, by mid-June, though, we could actually see a pattern that's a transition uh, into a more drier uh, pattern. Uh, the winter wheat crop ratings... 28% good to excellent versus 27 last week and 47 last year. Kansas 25, Oklahoma 10, Missouri 69, and the state of Washington uh, 61. We did see that China is offering $1.5 billion one-time subsidy for any individual or company that has anything to do with grain production. U.S. soybean exports uh, down 12% to date. Um, there was an active China soybean meal trade yesterday of 540,000 tons. And uh, high domestic demand has the basis firm in the beans with the crush rate very strong, cash crush margin strong. And we'll be looking at pretty close to the Gulf uh, as far as elevations in beans are concerned this fall, uh, almost sold out. Uh, China's buying some June, July uh, Brazil um, beans at basis levels like 164 over for June and 174 over for July. Argentina crush margins are uh, $2.25, which is increasing their demand for beans for crush and lowering their demand for exports. Corn exports, um, 1608 down about 13% from last year, but that does not include about 226 million bushels of corn uh, that the census shows higher than the inspections. Uh, September, October corn uh, elevations to the Gulf also pretty much sold out. Bangladesh is in a tendering for wheat. There, uh, the price was offered only one source at $548. In April, they paid $400. And uh, Matif wheat is um, trading higher as the second week in a row. They lowered uh, Europe's wheat ratings due to dryness. As always, uh, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM, ADM Investor Services, and have a safe trading day.